Disney photos really help us relive those magical moments. No matter where we are, Disney World, Disneyland, on a cruise, at Aulani, wherever you are, those pictures help you remember that magical vacation. I've made several videos in the past talking about the different photo packages, but today I wanted to really go over all of it and why I feel like it is really an essential part of your Disney adventure. Now there is no denying it, many of the professional photography photos that you can buy in a package are rather expensive. For example, on the Disney Cruise Line, you can get all of your photos in a digital package on a USB thumb drive or downloaded straight to your phone, and that entire package usually costs around $300 per cruise. Do I feel like that $300 purchase is worth it every single time? If you had asked me that question maybe a few months ago, I would have said maybe. It depends on your cruise. Now I feel like it's always worth it. The reason is because you pay a tremendous amount of money when you go on a Disney cruise. If you have one stateroom, maybe it's $3,000, $4,000. If you're on a shorter cruise, maybe it's $1,500, but still, that is a lot of money. And you want to be able to remember all of these magical moments, both in your mind and by looking at photos. Now, I will be the first to admit that the photos that you can take on your phone or camera are extremely good, but the Disney PhotoPass photographers have the perfect lighting, they have the perfect setup, and most of them are extremely good at capturing magical moments, just as you go up and give a character a hug, or maybe you're talking and they capture just a magical moment right there. Those photos that you get, in my opinion, are well worth it. Now, my reasons for wanting to get the photo package on all of my Disney adventures goes beyond just the perfect lighting and capturing those magical moments. I also think about the special magic shots, whether you're holding a special character like Chip or maybe even a pumpkin for Halloween, or maybe you're at a backdrop on the Disney cruise. The lighting is perfect. They're able to really make you feel like you're there. And to me, those are just like magic shots. I love it and memories for me to take back and share with friends in high definition. Now, if you're like me and you love taking pictures all around Disney adventures, whether it's the Disney Cruise Line or Walt Disney World, wherever it is, you may have taken a picture with your phone and said, this is a magical picture. I love it. I want to blow it up to a large size, put it into a frame, maybe on my wall, and you realize that the resolution of the picture isn't high enough for you to blow it up to a larger size. Although this would only apply to the photos that Disney took of you, maybe meeting a character or stepping on Castaway Key, the quality of the photos can be exported in a very high resolution that you can then blow up into a larger size and hang up on your wall. Now, while we're talking about Disney's photography services, let's not forget about the on-ride photos. There is literally no other way to capture photos like this unless you purchase them from Disney. So for that reason and many others, I am always going to get the Disney photo package. I feel like it's always worth it so I can have those memories. Now with all of these pros to the Disney photography services, I definitely wanna bring up a few cons. The biggest one that comes to mind for me, the cost. I am very happy that Disney includes all of the photos that you take at Walt Disney World with your annual pass. But that being said, if you're not an annual pass holder, this $150 or $200 expense can be rather high, but I'm telling you, in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. If you're a fan of the Disney Cruise Line, you know that that cost can be double for all of your photos from a Disney Cruise, $300 for all of the digital photos. Again, when I think about that price, I just consider all of the memories that I'm going to make on board. Maybe it's a seven day adventure. I want to have photos for years to come, and that's what I think about. I take those photos, I enjoy them, and to me, it is worth the cost. It's extremely high but it's worth it to me. Another potential negative of the Disney photography services is the quality of the photos that varies from photographer to photographer. Now, this used to be a bigger issue in the past. Every so often, not that frequently, but every so often, a photographer would have a little bit of blur or shake in the camera, especially right around sunset, which is a little bit more difficult. Nowadays, that's not nearly as big a problem as it used to be, especially on the Disney Cruise Line at Walt Disney World. I really haven't seen a blurry photo, I don't think, in years. It's been a long, long time. So they do vary a little bit, but those photography services are getting a lot better nowadays, so I definitely trust them. Another kind of negative to this list would be the fact that you have to store all of these photos all the time. They expire after a year from Walt Disney World, and you have to find a place to store them. I have a lot of external hard drives for all of my videos, but if you don't have a lot of memory on your computer, this can lead to an issue. So that's just something to think about. Not that big of a negative, but it is something to consider. Now, the big reason why I was thinking about the photography 
photography services today is because my brother and I are going to Aulani, the Hawaii Disney Resort, in just about a month. We are so excited, we cannot even stand it. And before we get there, I was hoping to buy the photo package that they offer. After a quick website search and phone call to Aulani, I found out that they have a special PhotoPass CD where you can get all of your photos in one disc for $100 at the end of your adventure. It sounds great and I wanted to pre-order it in advance. I found out that you cannot buy it in advance. You have to wait until you get there to purchase it. It's a little different from other adventures. At Walt Disney World, if you don't purchase in advance, it actually costs more. Same thing with the Disney Cruise Line. So it was a little bit weird to me, but apparently you have to wait until you get there to buy it. For $100, it did sound like a good deal, but I asked a few more questions. Apparently it does not include photos from the luau or from special character breakfasts. I'll have to see if I wanna buy those when I'm there. So I have to decide all of this once I get there. I'm sure we'll have a lot of photos to share on our adventure. Overall, I feel like the Disney photography services are always worth it. Yes, they are expensive, no doubt about it. However, these are memories that you will be able to cherish for a lifetime. You wanna be able to look back in 20, 30, 50 years and say to yourself, oh my gosh, what magical memories I had with my family or my brother, whoever it was, or even by myself at the place where dreams come true. That is what I want when I buy the photography services. That is why I will buy the photo package every time on a Disney adventure. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you agree with me and always get the Disney photo package? Or maybe you have your own camera or just use your smartphone and you're very happy with that. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day. Thank you.